Good morning, ladies. Well, it's not really morning. It's good afternoon. Um, good afternoon, ladies. It's me again. Um, today is my VLCD number 27. And I stepped on the scale today, and I had no loss. Um, which is kind of expected because, um... I think two, one of two things is about to happen. Um, just like when I was stuck in the upper 170s, I think it was, let me go back just a moment really quickly, like, I was stuck at 170, I was stuck at 171 when I had the stalls. So I'm still at 163.6 and I believe that number one Tom is about to make his grand entrance into my life again and number two um, whenever I get close to going over another weight range um, my body tends to slow down. Um, and I'm expecting the same thing to happen when I hit 152 because 152, when I was at 152, I could not get away from that number. No matter what I did, I was stuck at 152 until I had, um, until I got pregnant with my first daughter. Um, and I was very active. And I just couldn't get away from 152 to save my life. So that's just how my body is, you guys. Whenever I'm getting ready to go into another weight range, my body wants to hold on. So you know what that means, right? Today is Apple Day. Um. Oh yeah, and since it's the afternoon, it's lunchtime, so that apple is about to get devoured. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yesterday, you guys, was my no-shot day, and I was starving. I was starving. And then I thought to myself, okay, I am on day 27, and I think my HCG gave out on me. <laughs> I mean, I was already taking 200 IUs and the rash and all the other good stuff. So I was thinking that my HCG was, wasn't potent, you know, wasn't potent anymore. Um, so I went on ahead and mixed up my new batch last night. And like I showed you in my other videos, um, I got HUCOG this time. So that's what I took this morning and I took 175 IUs. And we'll see where it goes from there. Um, what else? Oh, yes. I would like to thank each and every one of you for making a comment on yesterday's video about my dilemma. What did I decide to do? Well, let me tell you. Um, this is what I decided to do. Um, a really good friend, Engine, um, explained to me what the interruption thing was all about. She went on ahead and um, gave me a little insert, or not insert, excerpt of um, the section. I can't even think of the words to say. The section of where Simeon talks about the. Um, the interruptions and then I thought to myself that is a great idea an interruption before I go to the reception that way I can go to the wedding that doesn't solve the babysitting issue but my husband will be here and at least I would you know show up to the wedding um then I thought to myself an interruption for just a reception. Not worth it. Not worth it. Totally not worth it. 
if I was having an anniversary, um, I think it was Lizard Queen. If you're having your anniversary, I would say go for the interruption. But, you know, me, not so much. And I'm going to tell you why, you guys. Um, and remember, I'm doing this long haul. So, um, if I was to do the interruption, get onto P3 and eat the P3 foods, you know, I'm not going to want to go back to P2. I'm not. I'm just being honest. That's the type of person I am. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I have to stick to one thing and follow it through. If I don't, then it will mess me up call it a mental thing but if I get off course then I'm off course I can never go back I have to stay on the one thing that I'm going to do and keep doing it so what did I decide to do you may be wondering well what I decided to do was to go to the wedding and skip out on the reception at least I've been there for the wedding and you know everyone went and saw me and said my goodbyes and all that kind of stuff because like I said the reception is in a total totally different location which means once I get in my car I'm booting it back to the, his house so no sweat um, that's what I decided to do also another thing that I decided to do was um, since I mixed my HCG up last night um, I'm going to have more than 40, I'm going to have 40 days at least, somewhere in there, 30, no not 40 days, mm, because the stuff don't last 40 days, it's like t almost 30 days of um, HCG the way I mixed it and at the dosage that I'm taking it. So what I'm planning to do is um, go ahead and continue to take my stuff until it just runs out so if I'm doing 50 days I'm doing 50 days um someone may mention of me only losing 17 pounds in 26 days and that kind of boned me out a little bit, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I was having, you know, not too hot day. And then to see that comment kind of made me feel bad. Um, but I have to think that um, I had stalls, you know. Everybody's body is different. Everybody's not going to release a pound a day. So, you know... And I'm not mad at the person who said that. I'm just saying that it made me feel bad for a second. You know, I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, even though I didn't lose as much pounds in a 20-something day course, I think I've lost a lot of inches. Um, I feel a lot better about myself. My skin looks much better, aside from the rash on my body. Thank God it's not on my face. Um... I think I'm doing pretty well aside from all of the stalls I mean I had the steak stall and then the Melba toast and then you know I had to do this is my second apple day that I'm, I'm attempting to do today so hey it happens you guys weight I mean this weight that I've had didn't just come on overnight so it's not going to come off overnight um I've Compared to a lot of other people, I didn't start out in the 200s or the 300s. So I'm not expecting to lose so much in a little bit of time. Um, to be honest, I'm only, you know, if I lose more than 30 pounds this round, then I'm grateful. If I lose only 20 pounds this round, I'm grateful. But as long as I know that I tried, then that's all that really matters. Um, yeah, we may fall and might cheat, but we're still, you know, I'm still going. I'm still going strong. Um, this diet is not easy in terms of willpower. Um, it is a simple diet, yes, 
but it all, you know, boils down to the mind, and we fight with our mind a lot. Um, sometimes we let our flesh get to us and overtake, you know, a situation. So, you know, hey, I lost 17.9 pounds in 26 days. I may not be one of those super success stories where people lose 30 pounds in 30 days, but you know what? I'm still losing and I'm still happy about that. Um, other than that, I am great. I feel a lot better this morning even though I'm a little hungry because <laughs> I'm about to, like I said, eat my apple. This is my first apple. Um, I feel great today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow minus my little head wrap. I'm just I'm so busy today. I'm washing clothes, cleaning the house. You know, I like to do that before the weekend, you know, so my, my husband doesn't have anything to do. He can relax and stuff and, you know, and we have time for other things. Um, that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!